Yes, welcome back to the crew. Richard hey. Foster. <laughs> Replaced Derek, hasn't he? I know. Handsome man. Where's Derek? Derek's lost. Younger, better version. Aye. Young, oh, you think, eh? <laughs> Ange isn't letting Derek date now, ain't you know? Who? Yeah. Ange, no, because no, it's a running, the title uh, running at. He'll be back for a while, Derek. Can no. I be playing centre forward for Celtic Can sitting on here on a, on a Thursday, so. <laughs> we me dies, he's dub on it. Huh? We yeah. dies in me <laughs> Derek's dub on it. It's a shame that Ange isn't going to let him come back on. So. <laughs> but he's on a stag, don't he? John Carver and Lewis are getting married, and they're way on a stag to three them. Just the three of them, eh? Aye, three and brilliant. And a one, and a one bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> one bedroom. It could be strange. <laughs> Where is it, though, yeah? Cyprus. Got <laughs> 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 to see Lenny. <laughs> He's in the room in a minute. He's in the room, there's four of them. Creates a kill for them. Creates a kill for them. What's the beer? Kill. 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 Mm-hmm. Been to Cyprus, my brother got married in Cyprus. Lovely. Uh, we used to go there all the time on holiday when I was younger. Who, you and the boys? No, no, me and my family. Oh, and I used to that? drink a kill like... I had two honeymoons there, brilliant. <laughs> two honeymoons? <laughs> <laughs> so, that was great. It was great. It was Have you been to Cyprus, Paul? I, I mean, yeah, that was the story of you lost, you knocked out the old guy, remember? No. We went to, we went to Cyprus for a pre uh, a mid-season fitness thing. Right, who took you there? Mother of 19s. Who was the manager? Gordon Young. Right. And, uh, so, She's got uh, a book out by you, she's telling us. Has she? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Try and get it and read it. I could be in that. Yeah, you, you, I think you are in it. You're, the, you're the book. That's what the book is. It's a bit, <laughs> it's a, it's a bit of a trip to Cyprus. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, but I was there in Cyprus, but where we were, it was, uh, it was almost a, really close to us. It was a war near. Yeah. Aye. A what? A war. A war. Because who's it? The two countries either side it, Turkey and Greece. Right. So it was a bit dangerous, but listen, I think we better just talk about the fact that we're there. We need to check the history, but it was that. You talk some. You talk some. Never heard that. Yeah. Yeah. So what was the story of Wallace? Ah, that's too tight. There was two. Us and our separate team came and started fighting on the pitch at 11 v 11 and then the subs were in. Did but you seen, I, I told you this, I thought I went on the bus as they were fighting. Right. But <laughs> we lost, he's went right in the mid and one of their old trainers just banged on me and we lost, went flying. Love that. <laughs> but I went in it. Is he great? Yeah. Deserve, <laughs> I deserve, he great? He deserves exactly what he So you were you on the bus watching the football and watching it loving it. What was, uh, where's the loss now? The firm one. The firm one. Have you played with him? No, I've not played with him now. Mm-hmm. Played against some loads, but no. Yeah, uh, no he said he's a wee baby. An embarrassment to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, how are you this week? All right? I'm alright, yeah. Playing golf again, I seen on Twitter. Was, was it Dougie? I was with Dougie, I used to be a pro. What so. was that? You said he kept them in his club? Strange. Why did he do that? What? I think we've seen him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's alright. Dougie's alright. Who were you playing this week? Glen Eagles. Oh, for fuck, what about that? He loves his life, doesn't he? <laughs> You know, kind of flaunt. Free. You've got it flaunt. I'm a member. I'm a member. My member there, Archerfield and Dundonald. That's three of the best courses. What was the grass stain you had on your trousers? What was that? You didn't have when you started, didn't you know? <laughs> 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 free, you got them. My wee white trousers. <laughs> Rich, you want to you, mate? Good? I'm good, mate. Yeah, That's all going up. I know, I think they are. Good Premier man. League for this man again. What do you think about that? I don't know if I can handle that. Do you think it could happen, mate? Do you think you could go up? <sighs> We've got a good chance. We've got a good chance. Everybody keeps saying to me, oh, it'll be great, you know, go up in another year. And I'm thinking, Kent, Jota, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good luck, <laughs> somewhere right here. Mate, you're still fat. I watched you on Tuesday night. You're still fat as fuck. I can run and run and stay. Run that lines. Peloton, isn't it? Amy's Peloton. Uh, uh, to be fair, that's a brilliant machine, that. Uh, it's good, isn't it? Um, but it's, it's, uh, I can run up and down the straight lines. I can't turn. Mm. Um, so as long as the ball's in front of me, I'm all right. Aye. You need to stop sticking the seat up the way to when you're on that peloton. <laughs> but it feels you'll be better. Big Yogi Hughes. Big Yogi Hughes. Big Yogi Hughes. Big Yogi Hughes. That pitch though, man. Oh, Ian McCall needs to stop wearing high heels on that pitch. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to. He needs to stop wearing his high heels on it. What has happened to that pitch, man? We played it last Tuesday against Queen's Park. All oh, right, enough. Man. Tough, mate. Um, it's just ground here, isn't it? Wet. Um, so many games. Mm. I feel sorry for the groundsman because he's... He's pissing into the wind, isn't he? Uh-huh. He's not making day. Um, but it's just a mud bath at the moment. But we've got the best song record in the league. Uh, <laughs> why are they sharing with you? Queen's Park. Park. No, money, Frank. Same as what well, you do if every for money. Ah, but it's, I think it, anybody it doesn't matter. They were, they, were, <laughs> they were ripping up their Astro to put down grass. Oh, right, okay. But then there was some kind of dispute with contractors, I think, so it's taken ages. But last year they were sharing with Falkirk, which makes sense because it's Astro. Yeah. Aye. But... It's west of Scotland, you share a pitch, it's never oh. gonna it's never oh. gonna last. No. And, and like to be fair, our groundsman t- <coughs> told those in charge, look, you can't you can't ground share because by January February there'll be no grass in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you look at that's exactly what it is now, like you say, it's just a mud bath. As soon as it rains, it's a mud bath. Yeah, I spoke to the groundsman before he gave me a nice guy, ain't he? Uh, good uh, guy. I feel for him. Uh, uh, Paul Grovenden, I've got okay. an offer. New sign up offer, bet five pounds and get twenty five pounds in free bets on any sport. 
could be handy with Cheltenham coming up as well, side. Si. Cheltenham, like Cheltenham next Oh, week. yes, Cheltenham next what week. I like it. You yeah. ever been down there, Richie boy? Been once when I was at Bristol, we went up. Good it's day, right next time. Uh, oh, you mean, it? Um, Who was that with Piro, not? No, Piro wasn't there. He doesn't, obviously, he doesn't gamble now. Right. Um, but it was a few of the English boys, Fontaine and that were there. Um, Lewis Carey, but it was like, oh, it's, good, Carey, it's, yeah. it's a good day out. Yeah. Yeah. You've been a few times. You've been here in the wee bit at the end. Oh, with the, they're coming up the final for long. I know, it's good. I know nothing about horse racing. Oh, mate. But what I, was the story? That was the week we'd look forward to every week. What was the story? Uh, Billy, do you know Billy Painter now? No, I know of him, but I don't so know. So Hunter cut off everyone to run the last length naked. Did he do it? Stripped his clear hair, chucked it naked, man. <laughs> but he made about 12 Hunter cut. I won 900 quid on the last race, yeah. I'd had a shocker all day. Last race, 45 to 1, put 20 quid on it. Brilliant. Outsider came in, 900 quid. I think it'd be brilliant if you actually got humans to run the track. Just yeah. one lap. Yeah. Like, yeah. How long is it? Who would you get? Look at you. Scott's, no. you come up the stairs there. You're, you're on the <laughs> Steve <laughs> Evans. Steve Evans, the old uh, Rotherham manager. Have you got him to run oh, the track? Remember it? Lenny. 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 Jeez, Tommy Wright. Right. <laughs> Tommy Wright, yeah. Who's a good man? <laughs> Steve Bruce. Steve Cl Bruce. Climbing our offences, it would be great, would <laughs> it? <laughs> uh, sign up at gsport.com. <laughs> Take it slash open goal. Aye, and Frank, you might take it away to the YouTube because we're trying to get a different voice to get the, subs the subscription right YouTube. up to 100 Could you do it in an accent, Frank? Because Big Kev, you've not heard him. Have you got any what? different accents that you're going No. No, where is it? What is it? So you need to say, remember to click on the subscribe button to help us hit 100k subscribers. He's no. in an accent. No, I don't know. I can't do an accent. Scottish. <laughs> I can do Scottish. Right, come on, Giza. Right. Remember to click on the subscribe button. To help us hit 100,000 subscribers. Oh, that was a good one there. That was good, he done it in a, a, almost like a news bulletin. A news reader. It's just a click of the button and it's absolutely free. You like that, don't you? That's brilliant, I like to click. <laughs> I like to click of the button. <laughs> <laughs> right, what, what, it's Scott Brown. Yeah. Is he retired or is he not? Has he just he's left retired. Aberdeen? He's just left Aberdeen, I think. I think he's retired. But I don't know, it, surely he oh, He's got inside knowledge. But surely he kind of go, right, <laughs> I'm retiring from Aberdeen, I'm no playing and then sign for somebody else in the summer. Surely uh, that's a kind of breach of contract. But I don't think he's actually came out and said that to us, he? That I'm going to retire. He's not really released a statement, has he, Brinny? So how, why have they let him go then? Different set. I think, I think Jim may have wanted him out. Yeah. He's, he's a strong personality, isn't he? And it's all right with, with glasses. That was his mate, but I would think... Jim's why to go his own way. I would think a man who manager coming in, he's, he's at that age now, isn't he? He's got a big influence in the dressing room. I would think. I heard he's going to. I heard I read him about Leicester. Leicester, I heard that as well. I heard he was going to uh, Leicester. A coach would be in the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think it's good for Jim Goodwin. If you are coming in, Aberdeen have struggled. You want to put your own stamp on it, like you say, a massive influence under the last manager. Probably is the right thing to do for for Jim Goodwin's point of view, now. No one Jimmy would have probably sat down and spoke to him. He wouldn't have just, he wouldn't so. have just I mean, come out and said... They're you know, only, what, three aye. years apart and then yeah. terms of age, so it's... He would have, uh, he would have, I think he would have spoke to him, wouldn't he have? Well, you'd like to think so. I mean, he seems like he's he's you know he's got a strong personality, Jim Goodwin. You know? nah, he's not yeah. sure, is he? So mm. you'd imagine they'd have had a conversation, and and that Scott Brown would have probably said, "Look, I'll, I'll can I go my own way? I'll, I'll leave." Mm -hmm. But there's not there's I don't think there has been a, a kind of retirement statement, has there? No, no. So. no. Because outside, say like Rangers, obviously you'd you'd never got Hearts, but any other team in Scotland still take Scott Brown now, playing wise. I, I think so. If, I don't know if he's going to want to play. I think he's going to coaching. Right. Got a wee feeling he's one going to that's he's Frank, wearing. stop saying you've got a wee feeling about having you've spoke to him. What's what's he happening? Come on, Jesus Scoop. Gonna just, keep it for that wee column you no, done, isn't it? Tell us on here. I don't dare call him now, no, I don't dare that now. Have you been chucked for that, have you? No, no, no. 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 Does he just spoke to him though? Double money I get now. Which I want to ask you. I just think that's what I that's what I think that he's just gonna get in he's wanting to do coach tonight. He's a good coach, he's got a great personality. Yeah. Especially if you've got a chance to go and coach at Leicester. Like, I know, oh yeah, classic. especially at that stage. But I want to, we've said that like, for years, we've said different about Scott Brown. But have you ever had any run ins with him on the pitch? Therefore, he has. I, I can imagine. No, so. no, really. I mean, he, he, he ran past me when they scored like a 87th minute winner against St Johnston to beat us 1 0 mm -hmm. in the cup. And he ran past me and he gave me a bit and he, on the way past. <laughs> and I'm like, mate, calm down, you've just beat St Johnston. You know? <laughs> I'm not really I'm not really into this whole Rangers Celtic thing, but I, I have played for Rangers, but other than that, it doesn't really bother me. He loves that, didn't he? Even now, he's still at his man, he aye. loves it, didn't he? I think, but if, he, if you take that out, he's not the same, ain't he? No. No. You need to have, he needs to have that. That's probably why he, he wasn't quite the same at our end. It's just uh, slightly uh, different motivation, isn't it? I stepped up every time we played against Rangers, it was brilliant. I just look at him. 
the way he strolls about the park and just annoys people. <laughs> he just winds people up. He must be like, you know. <laughs> but there must be times he's freezing. Huh? There must be times that he's Oh, actually... mate, stick a jumper on it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, just stick a jumper on it. Oh, yeah. Tierney yeah. does it as well now, doesn't know, he? Tierney, uh, with no. the t-shirt, I don't know how they can do it. Uh, will his experience be missed at Aberdeen? I think it will. I think they're a young squad. Um, especially their back. I know they've got Declan Gallagher, but when he doesn't play, their, their back line's dead young. Um and I think it's good that kids come through, but they need to play alongside experience. So yeah. you even look at like Lewis Ferguson playing um, yeah. beside him would be would have been good. And now he's kind of now the main man almost. Mm. And is he ready for that at his age to be the main man at a club like Aberdeen? I don't know. Hopefully, perhaps, yeah. But I, I think they'll miss him. Because Lewis has had a good year this year playing next to Bruni, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. Well, we yeah. see that at the start of the year, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, you're going to learn off somebody like that, playing in be beside him. I mean, we spoke about it at reserve games. I, I can't believe they've got reserve games now. Because boys learn more in reserve games than what they do playing with their, their a and group all the time. You know, I think if experienced pros coming down, coming back for injury, it'll, it tees up the young boys more, more in one game than what they do playing yeah. six or seven games with their pals. I, mm. I said that, like I was talking to one of our younger players <coughs> and saying that it's it's easier now, I think, to break through because, mm. what, because there's only 18s and then first team, so yeah. it's easier to get your chance. But I think we were more prepared when you got your chance because Aye, we'd I went through so. 18 yeah, first reserves yeah. first team whereas now it's a case of you're good enough at 18 you're in the first team squad mm. right. and then you know some you know if you're not physically strong enough you can be like a fish Aye. in the water mate yeah so right because there's some boys that say like played reserves for like five years before they broke into the first team no. but Liam Mullen never broke into say like first team until he was 22 23 quite common to get yeah. to that age and still be you just making your debut in it yeah, whereas yeah. you look at other teams and you look now boys 17. at 16 17 mm -hmm. making their Aye. debuts and it's no, it's no fair to heap that pressure on of the first yeah. team level on them yeah. at that age. I see, don't. see what about Z in terms of your experience? How important is it, giant that Bruni chooses either coaching or playing? Because I'm doing it as well, man. It's tough. So see, you, when you're aye. coaching and playing, it, it's tough. So do you feel that you, yeah, you need to do one? I need another? to do one or the other now. I have. Aye. I think it's. I think you're right. I think because I've, I've kind of. I was, if I was you, if I was you, I would chuck playing. Coach, yeah, hundred percent, mate. <laughs> The 500 say, Peterhead fans are saying the fucking exact same thing. <laughs> I was saying to you before, like working with the, the Thistle 18s, you can't invest the time that it takes to be a proper coach. So it's not really, you're not doing a good job yourself and it's not really fair on them, I don't think. So I think, yeah. I think you're right. I think you can you can dip your toe and help here and there, but I think if you're going to do it, like if that's the career you want to go and do, I think you need to either say, say, right, I'm going to play and then when I stop, I'll coach or say, right, that's me stop now, I'm going to go and coach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Selene, advice for him? Obviously you're a master coach. Advice for Scott Brown if he is going to go down the coaching route? Come to Boca. Start with the kids. Wow. Learn from me. Aye. Learn from you because you also come down, Aye. didn't you? And learn from Duncan through. <laughs> uh, I would, I would uh, That's the big one for him. That's probably the most important thing. If Scott Brown does retire, he'll definitely go down as one of the best players of the generation, eh? I think so. He's one to bring. Mm -hmm. In the world of Scotland. I was the one of the world. Nah, <laughs> listen, he's up there. He's, he's up there. I mean, for me, Big Billy was the best. You know, you'll never get a captain like that. But Scott's there. You know, Roy Aitken, Paul McStay was great, great captain. But Scott's won everything. I know it's different generations, and but you still got to beat who's in front of you, mm. and, and they've done it. And I think there's many, many people will reach them again. That they managed. I mean, he's got. Must buy a big house for the trophies. Mm. <laughs> the 20, 23 in. Twenty-three. Wasn't that one bed in Boston, didn't it? Aye, aye. <laughs> aye. Trying to get his eye for it. Aye, squat. He's a squat. <laughs> he drinks his over in Cyprus for Lewis and Derek and Carver. Wants that room, didn't he? Aye. But you know, it's weird. See, see your own Scott Brown, right? And this isn't this isn't saying a bit because he is a top player, right? And that, but the, there probably has been better technical players. Technical players than him. What? The is it just his mentality his that's that strong? Influence in the dressing room. Mm. It's his influence, but listen. When he came to Celtic, I remember when he came to Celtic, it was it was a chance he had choice to go to Celtic or Rangers, and he went to Celtic, and he was a, he was an attacking midfield player. Mm -hmm. okay. Sometimes played off the right, isn't that? Aye, so he was scoring goals, and, and you can see he loves scoring goals. He still does it sometimes, but not as often now. But I just think his influence in the changing room, you know, and his professionalism, which is something that I never had. <laughs> mm. <laughs> just as well to win, like it's yeah, you got the old aye. firm and. You just have to win all the time. Aye. Doesn't matter what goes on situation. Into that straight away. <coughs> and, that, and, it, and it's hard to get involved in that. And obviously he did. And then he was then he was the one that actually brought that to the table. Aye. And you know, I mean, it, everybody's aye. looking at him to go right. Yeah. We need our captain to step up. And like you say, most aye. times in old firm games, he certainly did. The reason I respect him so much. See when he first came to say, I know you said he bought in it straight away, but he actually struggled at first. Mm -hmm. He struggled. He couldn't well, get in the team. He, he was in and out. 
And, and fans were on his back, and it would have been easy for him to crumble. But it is that, that mentality that he's got. He but ends up coming back being the captain, the one that for Hibs because they, they were they were delighted if they won a corner, they'd deny it. That's decent for it. So uh, it was they one of the things. So that's what I think. That was the, that was the difference. Then they come into Celtic team, and, and every week, every game, it's a cup final because the team that you're playing against. They're up for it. It doesn't matter how they've played in the past, they're up for that game against Celtic Rangers. Yeah, everybody so, always talks about it, don't they? Oh, why'd you raise your game against Celtic aye. Rangers? Because we'll get scudded if we and don't. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we're there. It's through fear. Aye. Aye, just on Aberdeen, <laughs> sorry, but I'm going to ask you, now that they've lost, obviously, Scott Brown, still eight games to go this season. Is there any way Aberdeen can finish in the bottom two? I ain't done dear no, away. Between no. St John's, could St Johnston claw that third bottom space back? I, I think this weekend is massive. Or well, not this weekend, sorry, the next game, because I think the Aberdeen are at home to Hibs, St Johnson are home to Motherwell, I think. Hibs, 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 Dundee, are they, didn't they already? They're a point, two points behind. Matt McGee's having a nightmare, he's <laughs> <laughs> moved in. He got apart, 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 from, apart, from, apart from the fact he was banned, he's not got COVID. Is <laughs> it <laughs> <laughs> COVID? <laughs> yeah, he got COVID. Uh, <laughs> but I think, I think the next league games, are, like if, obviously if St Johnson win, um, Aberdeen lose to Hibs, which they won't because Hibs don't shoot. So it'll be a nil nil draw, um, <laughs> and then I think the next game after that, Aberdeen played Dundee. So yeah, a, a massive three games coming up. I think to lose somebody like Scott Brown in your dressing room when you're doing there at this stage of the season could be a, a massive loss. Nah, it could who, be. Who'll win them beside Lewis? Who, who'll go in the midfield? Beside? Craig Brown's back in, isn't he? Is he? Craig Brown's going to put the boots back <laughs> on. Molly, Molly, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's. Uh, I think he's. Fit. Fit. I think the hips find the eyes. <clears throat> intense, intense nah, rubbing on it. Jens, Jens the big work at last night, didn't he? Uh-huh. Proved it. Past his medical. But uh, news, Simon, this week with Scotland and Ukraine, is the match has been delayed delayed until June, is that? Yeah, that's right. Am I right what I'm saying there? It's the right thing to do, mate, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's it's then. the right thing to do, mate. I, I think so. Of course it is. I yeah. think so. You can't, it's just ridiculous the situation that's gone just now, but... Um, but I, it's, 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 you know, finally the SFA got something right. I think. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if it'll be like enough time. I don't know. You see, I'll get banned for that. <laughs> I don't know if it'll Take be it. enough time because June. I think we'll still be we'll still be going at it. June. Mm. I think it's going to be a long haul. I heard. So, I heard. I heard. Um, there was a few folk talking about it. Going, oh, we should just give Ukraine a bye. Uh-huh. And it's like, oh. If you're in the, in the Ukraine football team, yeah. you don't want teams just no. to stand aside no. and let you and go. And let you go through, no, no. that's no. what you're... No. That's, 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 I mean, they and we're and Scotland, we can't afford to get into it, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when they get to the World Cup, they just got to say, well, just let them win it. Go and win it. Uh, uh, they, they can't uh, do that. And they, they wouldn't be wanting that themselves. No. No, no, that's true. You'd be, as, you'd be as well just kind of cancelling the tournament, if that's, uh, if that's, that's the mindset. The um, mm. But it's, it's just... just you never know what's going to happen. I think it's the right thing to do, but I don't think it's going to be enough time, to be honest with you. No. See what happens. Uh, Neil Lennon's over in Cyprus. Yes. Amoni and Nicosia. You, you, you know them inside out, so just give yes. a wee back, a wee insight into their team. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think that'll be a good environment for Lenny? I think he did need to get away from Scotland for yes. a bit, didn't he? Aye. As long as he brings his factor 50, he'll be alright, <laughs> otherwise he'll Aye. melt. It's it's roast another. It's, it's, it's really hot in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go there quite a few times and it's, it's just so hot, but he'll be alright, you know, he's got a decent team. You know, I think they won the league last year, didn't they? That league, right? so, yeah. <coughs> um, it'll be good to. I don't know many people understand Scottish right now, but mm. <laughs> Lenny's Irish, mate. Aye, aye, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, I don't know many people. I see most. I aye, it's. Uh, I don't know many people that will understand him, but maybe we'll get a translator. Same as uh-huh. But well, from what I hear, it's quite intense. Like the fans are quite intense over there. I think the media is quite pal, intense. John so. Carver was writing about it. Did you John him? Carver was writing about it. He got pissed yeah, from that. Yeah, minute. I don't know why Derek was doing that. I know. He pissed at him. But um, <laughs> the fact that he's been in a Celtic job, obviously, who's better prepared to deal with that intensity? Do, to be fair, I think some of these countries they do. The fans are, you know, he go guard task right, and that's just Turkey, which across the border, uh-huh. as you were speaking about earlier. Uh-huh. Um, but aye, the, the European fans can be really intense, but. You've been at Celtic when you have in Glasgow. Yeah. There's nothing more intense than that. But I, I agree with you. I think it's good that he's away from Scottish football, yeah. just because you can get caught up in the the you know the kind of getting even me getting involved in media. See some of the the back and forth you see on mm-hmm. Twitter and stuff, and it's just like it's a lot of shite. You know, Do you like get guys, a bit on Twitter? Just if you if you if you miss you know you you can you can do this the highlights and you've. You've shown Celtic and they've had 52 shots, 30 on target, 17 corners, three penalties. Yeah, and then some guy goes, 
What about the free kick? They should have had the edge of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> See, just to balance it off, you better say the same for Rangers as well. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. And you're actually, you're hoping if, you, if there's a big incident in one game, you actually hope there's a big incident in another game just so you yeah, can balance it off. Oh, because uh, otherwise, if you don't talk about it, you get it in the ear. So mm. it's, it's. I just don't get the, the tribal attitude. Um, oh god! Because I'm, I'm not. You're from Aberdeen, uh, so so I'm I'm Glasgow. Not, but we I'm get, we get a bit so of Aberdeen fans as well. I get a bit of Aberdeen fans quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, Is that because of <laughs> Del McKinnis shout? Because uh, sticking up for Del. Well, look at them now. Because you what? Glad you said it. Sticking up for Craig. Stick up for Del last year. But she only it, I think. And you're singing a song, singing this is a life, and you wake up in the morning. You're still going to ride, and you want to go away, you want to go away, you want to go tonight. Do you sit and sing in the house? Could you sing? You can play, can you? I can't sing, no, and I can't play guitar. Will she ever just sit and play? Sometimes, actually, she'll never sit and play her own songs, unless she's like kind of getting ready for a tour, but um, she'll sometimes just pick up a guitar and play a Bruce Springsteen song. Oh, I love that in the house. Because we, we, we and my missus have nothing to talk about. as well, so it's oh, good. Bad, that's good. So any time it gets awkward or that, you just sing a song, do you know what I mean? I've been ready, so I've got the time in it. Did you go to the Josh Taylor fight when she was singing the National Anthem? Yeah, yeah. We, was, we were so we sat ringside. Did you? Did they win? Did they win? <laughs> Didn't look like it. You were one of the judges, weren't you? I'd have been as well. That was... It was a, a good experience, but I don't think it's one I'd rush back to, the boxing no, environment. It's, environment. It's well, quite, it's, everyone's getting your daggers, mate. And everyone, wants to fight. everyone in the crowd wants to fight as well, no, man. No, Didn't no. you scared of look at anybody? Well, it's a, lot of the, a lot of the folk that are there are obviously Aye, in boxing clubs or fighters themselves, and you're, yeah, like you say, you're scared to look at them. Oh, oh, I went with Nigel Benn and Eubanks years ago, and he, Did you go to oh, that? Was that, not great, was that not one of the best great fights? fight, but the atmosphere was just... I just, just, it was a strange, uh, strange yeah. environment. Just, just coming to him, coming out of the ring. What? You know, I was, I know Nigel quite well, so it was, it was good. Do you? Yeah. Take him on here. His boy's a good fighter. Aye, Connor, aye. Aye. Did you know? Did you ever meet Mew, Eubank? I love Eubank. Eubank, I speak to him. Did you? Aye. He's a strange guy. Aye. Oh, I bet he's funny. Bit, huh? You know, you know. No disrespect to Chris, but you ask him a question, and five minutes later you think. Why the fuck did I ask him that question? <laughs> I said, still, we feel we're going to ask you something on you. Because he still, he still goes and he explains everything. And you think, just give me an answer. Oh, answer uh, just, uh, hey. He's a lovely guy. Great. He's an extrovert, is that the right uh, word? Uh, <coughs> can I talk to Lenny? Of course you can. Mm -hmm. See, uh, <laughs> not bring it back. Is she good at box? Uh, I'm not bad, mate. I. You've boxed Lenny, isn't it? But he's been naked. What, what was it? Why uh, was yeah, it? Mud. Mud, there was mud involved. What was that, what was that for? Do you know going to get released? <laughs> <laughs> I said, could I stay this way? <laughs> but see, on, uh, well, Lenny, I, I don't, I, I find it really, um, listen, I know last season was a bad season, but even before then, it, it almost feels like Lenny has won everything with Celtic mm. and I think he's done a good job with Hibs, but it feels like he's not got the same sort of reputation as maybe certain other managers. I don't know why that is. I can't put my finger tight on it. Again, you can't put your finger on it though. But I wonder, I wonder why. Is it maybe because I think, you know, I think that, it was like, I think it was sort of coaching lot, the way he talks. There's or, a lot to do with last year. There was players that wanted to leave and I think, you know, the club tried to keep them and they shouldn't have kept them and it's not Lenny's fault. You know, they, mm. they just, there was three or four wanting to leave and I think at the moment I'm glad Lenny's away because at the moment it's a blame game. They're, you know, it's what I hate. So, you know, they want to leave and and Lenny's too good for that, I think. Uh, he mm. doesn't have to get involved in that. Mm. So his mind's back in football now and he's away. And it'll clearly say to but I think it'll, I think it'll be good for him. Mm. I was delighted to see that Mark Fallernham was linked as his number two, because I think that's the exact type that Lenny needs. That's Modern exact. day coach who also has the same demands and standards that Lenny has and <coughs> puts it across in a similar way to Lenny. I know Fozzie, I've known him since he was a boy. He's, a, he's exactly what Lenny needs. Right. You know, I, you think quite, of Kendall, who's is a modern day coach, but he's, he's a bit more laid back than Lenny. It, like, Fozzie's quite shy and reserved, though. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 Give me the bat, eh? Give me the bat. And after like two days, he was talking about all the other boys. Like, like we had the boys up for Newcastle. He's hopeless. And, played, and he's like, he's hopeless. He's hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, mate. I, I think player, he'd make a, a very player. good player. Mate. So is, just, he co is he coaching? He's, he's coached in Cyprus as well. He's, I think he's yeah. won the league in Cyprus. Oh, right. As a number two. Right. And he's turned it back, though. I think he'd be the perfect type for Lenny, yeah. but I seen yesterday that he failed to agree personal terms, so I don't know that about sorted. But I think he'd be a good type to go with. He's no good at the wrestling. No, no, in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> that, what about uh, would Bruni be a good number two for him, or is that too early? No, he's in Cyprus, I don't know. Don't know if he'd go there. But I don't know. I think he's got. 
I think there's a club here who'll take Len, take uh, Brennan for coaching. You think, just say what you <coughs> think. Do you think he's going to go to sell it? <coughs> no, I don't. Actually, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> so you think he'll coach in Scotland? This year? No, he'll, co- he'll coach at one of the clubs in England or Scotland, I think. I right. don't think he'll go to Cyprus. Yeah. I don't think him in... I know he gets on well with Lenny, but I don't think that's a... You know, They're quite similar, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. You probably need somebody so who's much. almost the opposite aye. just to kind of balance it out. He needs me. Co- Lenny needs me to coach the other house. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Lenny's looking for a young up and coming coach. I know. Paul Slynn. There you go. Slynn, you could be reunited. Really but he would always just go back to the <laughs> boxing mat. Do me coach and get spoke about it at all. <laughs> Zero coaching. No. You, you should surely get the wear that hat over there. Too co- <laughs> it's too hot to coach her. Yeah. Imagine the squad oh, 18, 18 boys just watching you and Lenny box every day. Aye. <laughs> Imagine me out there, but like, chill, chill. Go and get a beer. <laughs> Go and get a beer. Because I was a young, ki- a young kid at Rangers that's making headlines, isn't he? Oh, Tony, is, Tony Weston scored 35 goals this season. Is he? Uh, <clears throat> see, but that, do you think that's. Um, maybe we go back to what we're talking about, though, cause, because there's no that reserves that you. We, you can, can get kind fucking hell. You can kind of see him in the reserves day, and that's where you think, well, he could <coughs> really, he can do it again. Is it man. too much a big gap now for a, a first team manager to take that risk? And bring him into the first team. But he is playing against men, isn't he? Because he's playing at the Rangers beer playing in the Lone League. No. So he is playing against men now. Well, aye. Mm-hmm. But I, I, real men, but. Oh, right, so men that are actually <laughs> SPL standard. Ah, good players. I don't good mean the real men in the Lone League yeah, yeah. not played that yeah. standard. I just mean that yeah, yeah. calibre of player. Well, there you go. Question well, good for the boys. Good save. <laughs> what do you think? That's a good save. Uh, uh, what do you think? But do you think he's maybe. What are we? Don't know the boy. I don't watch Rangers. No. No. But if you score, you know, it doesn't matter who it doesn't matter who you have. If you score that amount of goals, you're a goal scorer. You know, you're a goal scorer. It's just one of them. It's, but it's just I think it's, it's an if you, you know, he's he's, got that, he's you'd got imagine that, that he's, if he's. I don't know how it works with the B because I think they can they can still call them back, <coughs> can't they? Even right. when they're in the B team, they can still call them back mm. in the first team. But let's be honest, the Rangers manager doesn't make any subs, so he would never get on. I know. <laughs> I know. So, you know what I mean? It's better that he's out playing what games. Does that mean? What does, does that, do you think that because he doesn't trust them or? or just I don't know. I don't know. But I think they, they look recently, even the St. Johnson win the, um, a couple of weeks ago, and then the last game there against was Aberdeen. They look a bit jaded, a bit lethargic. Aye, aye. You can't, you can't go and produce performances like Bruce Dortmund and no be tired. Mm. He needs to freshen his squad <laughs> up because they've got, they've got a squad here who would, they're good enough to, to go and play the, SP, the yeah. Premiership games. Yes. But I don't know why he doesn't do it, but I think he, um, he probably should. Um, but then even the other day, he took off. Morelos and put on roof and it works. Which was a massive call. Aye, but I'm still not sure that you take off Morelos when you're chasing a goal, but it worked out for him, so fair play. But again, he has been criticised a lot for his subs, but he's not, he rarely he's got it wrong now. Eh? I know. Um, no, I don't. Morelos, I don't think he, it Morelos, he went to, I said, he went to three at the back, didn't he, at half time, right. which was a massive call. And Morelos then Saturday, is, obviously, you knew, Morelos you're going to bring Morelos off, you know, you know, I brought the fault, I brought the junior. That's a massive call. He's the goal scorer, Morelos, he's, he's the, he's the, Lynch Ping, I think he's a centre of everything at the day. But Ruth scored, didn't he, when he came on? I know that, but I'm talking about why would you take him out? I had to take somebody else off. No, take like off Marellis. a fullback or a. Do you know what I mean? That's people in midfield. Take off players that don't mean anything in the game. Aye. <laughs> aye, but I just think, I just think Morelos is everything they do, he's a, he's a catalyst. But him being a top well. coach, maybe he's seen that the guy that Morelos is up against would maybe suit a roof doing something differently up against that guy than what Morelos would do. Did you see the goal? So uh, he just runs around and, yeah. and goes in the net. But maybe uh, Morelos should have came to feet there. Uh, do you know what I mean? Uh, Bruce uh, went in behind, I don't know. Uh, I think it's a tough gig for a manager. Ma- making subs is a, a difficult. You say that's one of the hardest things. I think it's a hard thing. That is judging when the right time is there. Why is everyone dating six? Exactly, because see, it's, sometimes it's a new, it's a new, it's a new uh, fashion. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I knew, she, she, I mean, listen, I thought it was a wonderful player, George Samaras. I could tell in 15, 20 minutes if he was going to be that all game. <laughs> you can tell right away if he was up for it. Is is just unplayable. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you look at me, and go, he's going to do nothing. So he gets two off after sixty. He's not kicking him off after twenty. Mm-hmm. I made a sub that. after twenty minutes last week Did when you? me asked Jim. Uh, um, otherwise, you lose the game six 0 Was it take me off? Twenty ninety minutes. <laughs> take me off. Uh, get me <laughs> off. There was a big change in the, the game. The game changed completely from that uh-huh. point. But I see something. <clears> I think managers make subs too early. Because eh? I'm, sometimes I'm yeah. playing a game and we're on top, and then you make two subs and you're like, "Why we're on top?" Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's 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 almost like if even if you're on top but you're no scoring, it's like, "Well, right, I need to, I need to do something different." Well, maybe, not, maybe keep uh. doing what we're doing and we'll get the goal. But um, but I think I, that's sixty a minutes is the, is the is the well. Look at Rogic. Uh, Just kept playing sixty minutes, know, sixty minutes, sixty minutes. Play him ninety minutes, and he's uh, one of the best players in the league. I, yeah. I don't know. It was Lenny. Lenny did that, didn't he? Sixty minutes. It was like you go, why? 
How, yeah, how can't you can't ask I'm thinking, why can't you? Never, oh, you can't ask because you never, you never, never play for long Yeah, all. longer ahead. Uh, Paddy McCourt was the same, wasn't he? To be fair, take, Paddy was, was a 30 minute man, wasn't he? Aye, we'd take him in. You used to take him off after 60. I was like, he was running by players, they're like, off. Yeah. Uh, right, down at the bottom, Dundee. Does it look like they're away at 1 0 defeat home at St. Murn last night? Last mm. minute as well. I know. Just when it's not going for you. I was, I, know. But I was reading, to be fair, I was reading, I'd never seen the game, but I was reading about it, and apparently Dundee would just, just try to keep the ball and never try to score. Mm-hmm. And everybody's going, look, fair enough, we're down at the bottom of the league, but at least try and go and score oh, some yeah. goals. Mm-hmm. If you concede goals, fine, but at least go and try and beat the other team. Especially, with, you know, St. Mirren are on a, a decent enough side, but it's not like they've been on a great run. No, they're a bad yeah, run. You're, yeah, home, exactly, you're yeah. fighting for your lives <coughs> to try and win the game. So I think they were just, they were a bit kind of passive, I think. Especially mm-hmm. when you've got a Mullen and Rudden up front. Why would you mm-hmm. not go and try and put I've seen, seen, one, I seen one comment, they are giving Zach a wee bit of a hard time saying, oh, aye, Rudden, no pace. <laughs> you try catching them. That's the one thing he's got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rapid. <laughs> they need to do something different than what they're doing, and, and you know, you go there and they want to draw their last however many games they're going to go down. You so know, you may as well go and try and do try and try and a bit of fight. People, people with pace. I mean, everything's. I, I just watch football and everything's in its feet. And I'm going. If you could pace, why not? Turn that's, that's, why why Zach, that's why Zach why done so well that? for us. Yeah, because no, Zach was running behind. God, but you think what a guy like Charlie Adam there at Dundee's that can do that. Charlie, would you get the ball to Charlie to go and find Rudden and Mullen Aye. over the top? Be, I think he was injured. I think oh, was Charlie injured last night? He right? his hamstring. I don't know how he's done that. So you could have put Cammy Kerr in there and got him to do it. He's good at that. But it's that thing. I think they're going to struggle now, Dundee, aren't they? I think so. That's what I said. I said the other they could be. I think I think the bottom two just now are the bottom two. I don't know which order. After last night, probably Dundee straight down St Johnston playoffs, but. I know we spoke about Aberdeen getting sucked in, but it's it's nah. a it's a big ask. I think it's the, the bottom two now or the bottom two. Mm. And then so if Thistle could face her, it looks like St Johnston in the bottom two. Could do, eh? St Johnston are I'm not on their data, St Johnston. It'll be a hard it'll be a hard tie again, for uh, for the for the team that fin- that, that goes and plays St Johnston uh, there. You, with all respect to both teams, yeah, you'd probably yeah. rather fan- uh, face Dundee. Yeah. Um whereas St Johnston can be a bit more stuffy. But in saying that that you know, they're down there for a reason, they've yeah. not been good enough this year. Yeah. No. I feel for Callum because mm-hmm. obviously last year they were excellent and it looks like he's he's aged um, <laughs> with the stress of, of management but he's lost two players really two influential players and it's just it's went downhill from there mm. mm-hmm. and the striker thought he was a good player I liked him was it Melamed? oh really? the striker right. Tyson Johnston uh, I liked him uh, he was good I'm not got that focal point in there, on so it. here's one for you Paul because we've got him on the show we never really talked about the championship who'll win the championship this year? who? Win the championship. I'm going to go Kamalak. I ah, fancy Kamalak. Just with McInnes there, I think he's a mm-hmm. real good manager and I think he'll get them really ticking the line. Ticking over the line? Is that a new saying? Or? Uh, ticking over the line. That's <laughs> really, tick, really ticking and we'll see him over the line. Good. <laughs> <laughs> good. Well done, sir. Better. Well done. Did you think? A bro, no? I think our bro. I, I'll tell you what. what I mean, they, a bro hard to play against, mate? Home records. I'm accurate. They just, they are what they are. The back four don't really move much to get O'Brien's the ball forward good, early. Um, the, to be fair, they had the boy Nubly, um, but Hamilton's come in and done really well for mm. them. McKenna. McKenna's brilliant, kind of supports really well. Yeah. Kind of, I like him because he's like an old school midfielder. He's just box to box. He's none of this, oh, I'm a six or a ten mm. or an eight, which I don't understand what all that means yeah. anyway. But he's a, he's a old school midfielder. Well, you're 32 and you're 36 now, the numbers have gone <laughs> exactly. You're 36. <laughs> mm. I've not been yeah. in the top 11 my whole career. <laughs> uh, you're a summer. <laughs> no, I, think, um, I think they're good. Um, but it's just, it's, I think it's now between the three of us. But we yeah. just need to try and keep on their coattails. Those two are favourites, obviously, but we just need to try and stay in there as long as we can. Uh, Tiffany, I like Tiffany for years. Nah, he's, he's done well in I mean, he's an world. absolute moon man as a guy. <laughs> a I remember lad. him and Rodden getting interviewed oh. after the Hamilton game. But, oh my God. I could, so I, I was just on before him. <laughs> And then I seen it come up on the screen, they two standing, I was like, this will be comedy the goal. Fair and more, really. But no, uh, like, he's so, he's in, probably in my career, he's o- over 10 yards, he's the quickest I've ever seen. He goes, he? By his, he goes by the full back nearly it. every time mm-hmm. because he's so fast. Like, once he stops you and goes, you have no hope. Yeah. But, you know, he could probably improve his quality a wee bit, which he's done latterly. And then he was coming on to a right good game and then he, he managed to get himself injured the Dafty. Mm-hmm. But um, he'll be back in, in a week or so. So he'll be a massive boost for us because he's a yeah. huge player. Be either one, Dick, Dell or Ian McCall, be good additions to the Premier League. Aye, great. All three of them are like oh. listening to her. Aye. 
Three. Is McCall Aye. He's been Aye. brilliant for me. Any um, good stories? Good. Team talks are... He's, he's, he's still, still joining the training. That no, he doesn't join anymore, no. That left big is what it was like a wound. He, 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 he tells us quite often how good he was. He, by the way, but, honestly, he was good. Was he, he really good, Frank? Really good. Was your mate Frank, isn't it? Aye, really good player. At Rangers? And and Falkirk. Falkirk. Midfield player? Aye. Great for me. Was he a white player, was he? He was great. Left big, he was good. Aye. What, no, is, he's, it, is he funny? Uh, he's just, he's just, mm-hmm. he's kind of, he's old school, but he's obviously kind of changes his, his, his personality to kind of match the way kind of society has changed in the modern day football. Because I, I don't imagine he'd get away with, like I've, I've only seen him lose his temper once or twice in mm-hmm. the restroom. I think I've lost my temper more than yeah, that. Yeah, he'll, he'll bring um, him, he'll slag him more than, than lose aye. his temper with him. Um, right? but he'll bring him, it's a good thing to have. Like he's after an interview, you said about their combined IQ being. Uh, uh, he's, I mean, he's a he's a smart guy, but he's like our, our captain Ross Doherty. Mm-hmm. He took him from there, and uh, he abuses him. Something, and Doc just takes it because he just knows that he's like. But it's uh, it's funny. But it's he, like Doc will play every week for him because he's he's probably our most influential player. Yeah. But he's the one that gets it tight all the time. Like in training, <laughs> like he's not even done anything wrong. He's like, oh, you call yourself a cap. You need to be better. <laughs> Doc's like, oh, right, okay. Oh uh, yeah. Little uh, bits. Uh, he just uh, he throws in these wee grenades all the time yeah. to Doc. Who just takes it to be fair, um, and then there'll be times when Doc's getting angry and training like if his team are losing and the gaffer's winding him up, mm-hmm. like and he's just waiting for him to try and bite. Uh, I like Doc, he's a good player. Mm-hmm. Right, right, lads, cutting time. Who do you want to ask, Paul? <coughs> Which only mean Frank, innit? Oh, yeah, how rich you kind of you kind of bet on this? Well, I just asked Frank. Would you? Well, you can't bet on either. No, I can't either. So who do you want to ask, Frank or Paul Slain? Do you just do what I just talked to each other and Frank will t- <laughs> ask each other? Do you want a box? Do you want get- <laughs> Don't let anybody do that. <laughs> uh, right, I'll ask Paul Slade. You yeah. can ask Frank Ritchie, right? We'll go a four Paul. So first, Hearts versus St. Man. Hearts, comfortable. 1945 kickoff. Light one for Andy, that, innit? You won't like that. You used to have to be his bed at half time, didn't you? <laughs> he will not like that, Andrew, won't he? Mm. So Hearts, St. Man, you go to Hearts? Easy, aye. aye. Easy. I've watched it mirror inside the last few weeks and I just don't see where they're going to get goals. I really don't. <clears throat> and I don't think see, see where the boy power no. uh, he'll get them goals and no. <laughs> <laughs> see, see the boy power in no. goal in the midfield. Yeah, it's hard, like it's hard to get that uh, creativity there. So listen, I'll go with a heart two 0 Okay, Good mother w- or in fact sorry, the what's the first Sunday game? Yeah, we'll go Motherwell versus Hibbs at half twelve. I'm gonna go Hibbs, we Sean. I'm gonna Why? go I don't know, I, I think Mother were uh, who scored? Own goal. <laughs> Is that an own goal? I know. <laughs> in the shoots. I just think Hibs will nick it. Where Doyle they, Hayes. Where are they? Where where they'll nick Edge it? Edge of the I don't know. Aye. Aye, volley. All right. Yeah, volley. Right. So you got Hibs what one 0 We're getting predictions now, are you? Aye. Uh, three one. Don't know why it's coming <laughs> in my head. Three one, right? That came in my head. Three, three goals this season. I'm not very wide at this. Sean game. should play. Eh? He's a joke. Ah, he is Sean, amazing. Sean he's still uh, right, we'll go Dundee versus Rangers, four o'clock on Sunday. Dundee versus uh, Rangers. Comfortable. Mm. Unless Dundee almost have sort of resignated to the, the league now. Um, <coughs> what? Resigned. Resigned. Resigned to, <laughs> resigned to, <laughs> resigned to the league. league now. They're going to go all put the guns blazing for this cup. So, hey ho. Uh, Rangers. So, you think Dundee will tackle the line? <laughs> No, this game no. Rangers, <laughs> will, go. Rangers will take over. Yeah. Like. Okay, and Take-o. then Monday we've got so, uh, Dundee United at home at Celtic, like 1945. No, that's going to be... Why are you saying 1945? just like to do it in that... Aye. Is it Greenwich Mean Time? Is that right now? 24 hour clock? Aye, I know, but it just sounds weird. It doesn't sound like an old time, didn't it? No. no. 1945. That's how we like to do shit on here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's a, <laughs> that's a cracking game, that, isn't it? It will be, eh? Tanner Dice, that'll be... Uh, but I think um, Celtic will have too much for them in the end, and it'll be a... Uh, three one game. Big back. Yeah, he'll be back. That's why he's picked Celtic. Like. It's not the last three one. Right, right, Richard, you can ask Frank, and you can do it in any way you want to. <coughs> any way Give you us want. a date and the time. That right, so, playing, please. Uh, Hearts at Mirren, Saturday, one two March, <laughs> one, <laughs> nine, one nine four five. <laughs> one nine four five. Right, okay. I am going for Hearts to win home, home win. Holiday on the score sheet. No, he won't be playing. <laughs> Leave on the team sheet. No, on the score sheet. No. Um, <laughs> right, Sunday 13th of March, half 12, Motherwell Hibs. I think that'll be 1 0 Motherwell. I'm going to go for a Motherwell. Oh, a Steelman. I'm going to go I fancy Cup that tie, one. I think. Yeah, yeah. Cup tie. I think Motherwell will beat him. It's a bit um, early for Sean, that, isn't it? Half 12. I think he's, I think he's, he's just like didn't he? No, he'll be up. Oh, he'll be up. I think he'll be hanging. I'm not going to win the Cup, so. 
Hey, it. Sean. Aye. No, surely you'll be thinking this is a... No, Sean's, not he's, not, he's a winner, Sean. You'll be no, thinking. Chance. They'll not they'll beat Celtic Rangers when they get them semi-final or whatever, so... Yeah, but if you have somebody you looking have at that, that attitude, there's no, no point even trying. I think he's they're one. They're putting it up in the morning, man. Eight, they're no scoring, they're no shooting and going league games. <laughs> he doesn't like shooting, so, I hate shooting. They're not even shooting. Yeah, so, so. I think he's just getting his team together and he's just... Tapping. I think they'll be... I think they'll That's be... Four, I, think, I, think, I think they might just be good next year. Tapping. Yeah. What is that, happy gun one? Uh-huh. <laughs> Go home, ball. <laughs> uh, right, Dundee Rangers, Sunday, 13th of March at four o'clock. Yes. Tapping. Clark's not great at Dens. I know, but I can't see. I would like, but it's not going to happen. So I think <laughs> Rangers, I'd love to go for Dundee, but Charlie Adams to score. In, I mean, free uh, kick, top corner, that'd be right. great. No. And I'm not sure, sure, I'm, I'm not sure I need, Charlie. I mean, the next game's of Monday Aye. the 14th of March at 1945. 1945 but I'm yeah. not sure I need to ask you. No. <laughs> well, listen, it'll be, it'll be a good game. I think it'll be a good game. Big Charlie will be strolling through it. And... Be Derek Ferguson will run ragged and <laughs> so got a couple. Be Derek Ferguson's not been on the yard. Celtic to win that. Celtic to win that one. By the way, that's the that's the fixture you scored the two in the final, isn't it? Aye, easy. You know he scored two in the Scottish Cup final. I didn't even know. I never knew that. Just two. What was the goals like, Frank? Brilliant. I've seen it, but I can't even. Brilliant. No, Tartans. Two Tartans. Two, two Tartans. Oh, look, there were six hand pops, didn't it? Did a header, one first did one. Did you win? Header. Yeah, yeah, but for six hands. Doesn't matter what the goals were. Two six hand goals, weren't they? No, I did seven yards the second one. Right. Seven yards. I've never even played in the cup, the Scottish yeah. Cup final. Have you done that? Yeah. God, semi, semi final was the, the semi final. Oh. Uh, Aberdeen, Queen of the South, beat what, fourth. Aye. And then, oh. then they took Rangers. That was 2008 because Rangers were the. Uh, Why is Jim, Europe, big Jimmy Thompson? That's uh, right. Europa League. And I think we'd have beat them. I think if we'd beat Queen of the South, we'd have beat Rangers in the final. But What happened in the Queen of the South game? We made an arse of it. That's mm-hmm. what we've done. Who was it? Jimmy Calderwood? <clears throat> Calderwood, aye. But it was just nothing to do with him. It was just us on the pitch. We just kept scoring. Mm-hmm. Four three, we get beat. Sure. <coughs> That's the lowest lowest moment in my career losing yeah. that game because I, I really believe that we would have went on to win the Scottish Cup. Mm, there you go. We all fighting each other after it. <coughs> no, really, I think it was just that kind of. It was, it was almost uh, just a shock. Nobody could say anything because I get beat what, five. What do you say? Semis. Like? Terrible. You got beat five in the semis. <laughs> aye, no. Five nil. No, no you got beat. Oh, you got beat in five. Four, aye, league, league and Scottish Cup. Aye. The old firm went to replay there. What every one against beat. Rangers you got beat? <coughs> no. Celtic and Rangers and Aberdeen took Aberdeen to replay at Dens Park and they beat us. Terrible. Oh, no, but Semi Slaney's got one, didn't he? Oh, I see that there. <laughs> he never fails with a Semi. There's only one thing that happens when you go to a Semi, young man, isn't there? Straight to the final. <laughs> straight to the cup straight, straight, straight to the, the boxing box. Cheers, <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you.